Infinity's largest SUV, accommodating up to eight people, is built on the 2011 Nissan Patrol Y62 platform and was called the QX56. In 2013, he received a new index QX80 and was upgraded a little later. The car rests on a powerful frame, but both suspensions are independent, which significantly increased handling and reduced unsprung masses. But at the same time, the 80 has a powerful off-road potential up to a downshift in the transmission and a center differential lock, and the rear suspension is equipped with pneumatic elements. Although rear-wheel drive versions of the QX80 are also available for the US market, there is only one engine, a 5.6-liter gasoline V8 with a capacity of 405 forces, paired with a 7-speed automatic. The last restyling of the SUV was in 2017. Despite the gigantic dimensions, the Infiniti QX80 body is subject to external environmental influences. Chips appear on the car body after a couple of years. The paintwork cannot be called durable, as, perhaps, with most Japanese cars. However, it does not come to corrosion, the metal itself endures the hardships of Russian exploitation. Although the chrome coating surrenders from the pressure of chemical reagents, tons have spilled on our winter roads. Therefore, the first owners booked the SUV with a special film through one really saves the body from minor scratches and scuffs. When inspecting a used copy, first of all inspect the tailgate and sills in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B rear wheel arches. These are the most problematic places for an SUV. But in the cabin, the driver's seat wears out the fastest. It, by the way, is not strong enough anyway. It happens that it starts to hang out even on relatively fresh cars, with runs up to hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Usually the seat can be repaired, with the banal tightening of its fasteners. But there have been cases of replacing a prematurely tired chair with a new one under warranty. Annoyed by squeaks and the steering column, the body of which is assembled from hard plastic elements. However, the failure of the power windows is much more annoying. And more often the left one, on the driver's door, can mope, although sometimes the right mechanism is also noted in failures. Various sensors and control units fail which can paralyze the operation of some systems and components of the car. The difficulty often lies in finding these defects. There are media failures. Often, the problem can be fixed by simply restarting the system. But a software update may be required. But systematic glitches of saloon electrical equipment, in general, are not observed. One-time network breakdowns are not of a massive nature and do not pull on statistics. In terms of electrics, there are almost no failures in the engine. But the V8, which was impressive in volume, sinned in others, its oil appetite increased with age, and on cars with even low mileage, the gas distribution chains stretched. Weakened timing chains increased in size and at some point, in a certain mode, for example, afterburner or gas release, they could jump a few teeth. And then the valve timing went astray and the valves could meet with the pistons. Repairs cost decent money, up to replacing the blockheads or even the motor. However, the Japanese took action in time and changed the supplier. At least since 2015, the timing chain drive on these engines began to take care of up to 250,000 kilometers and even more. But worn-out catalysts can do a lot of trouble with the engine if they are not replaced on time. The fact is that the neutralizers that have served their purpose must be urgently changed or cut out, they are simply removed, welding a blend instead of them, followed by a flashing to Euro 2. Otherwise, their ceramic coating is destroyed, turning into small crumbs and dust, which are sucked back into the cylinders, scratching their mirror like sandpaper. And then an expensive repair or even replacement of the motor is provided to you. But the error that is not always displayed on the instrument panel indicates a malfunction of the catalysts. Often, in dismantled assemblies, after a visual assessment of their condition, it is enough to simply weld the internal grid of the neutralizer by spot welding into place so that it does not hang out inside its metal case. In this regard, we note that the elusal coating of the cylinder walls of the aluminum blockhead is quite stable and is guaranteed to last up to 350 to 400,000 kilometers. There are cases when the 8 needed a major overhaul and even after a half million run. Moreover, by this milestone, the engine consumed up to 3 liters of oil per 10,000 kilometers. The mechanics of Nissan and Infiniti claim that for an engine that looked like its own, topping up an average of 1.5 liters of liquid lubricant from maintenance to maintenance is considered technologically justified and quite acceptable. Yes, don't forget that a huge V8 is highly thermally loaded, which is why it is prone to overheating. 
Therefore, every two years it is necessary to clean the radiators of the engine and air conditioner, as well as keep the cooling system in order and clean. In addition, the engine has a water pump and thermostat at risk. From time to time, you also have to update the starter, alternator, and ignition coils. But in general, the naturally aspirated V8 is very reliable and durable, and will not bankrupt the second owner with proper operation and proper maintenance. By the way, the reinforced 7-speed Jacko automatic transmission is also sensitive to the quality of the oil and the regularity of its replacement, and is also afraid of overheating. First of all, excess heat hits the transmission fluid and the gearbox valve body control board. Since the automatic transmission pan is very close to the lower catalysts, which constantly breathe heat on it, heating the oil above operating temperature. Some craftsmen even install protective heat shields that separate the exhaust system and the automatic. However, the transmission fluid in the box is subject to excessive heat. And changing the oil here, on average, every 60,000 kilometers is not at all a surplus. This procedure really prolongs the life of the unit, although the automatic was initially declared as maintenance-free. That is, the oil is filled in it for the entire life of the machine. However, the box is heated not only because of the design features of the QX80, but also due to sloppy and aggressive driving. Sharp starts from traffic lights followed by no less rapid braking, towing a heavy trailer at an unacceptably high speed and long slipping in snow or off-road will inevitably lead to wear of the clutch pack, and the torque converter will also probably get it. Excessive recklessness also harms the all-wheel drive transmission although the transfer case and both gearboxes are not as heat-loaded as the automatic transmission. Although the transmission fluid in all these units is prescribed to be updated simultaneously with the automatic. Every 150,000 kilometers, the driveshaft crosses and the outboard bearing will have to be changed. True, the replacement is quite expensive. After all, these parts, as a rule, change only when assembled with the car dash. For officials, the node costs about 70,000 to 80,000 rubles. In general, the Infiniti QX80 transmission is quite reliable and, with timely and high-quality service, will live for a very long time. It is recommended at each MOT to check the condition of the seals, anthers, and gaskets for oil leaks. A timely identified malfunction and replacement of penny rubber bands will help to really save on the replacement of expensive components. All of the above is also relevant for the hydropneumatic suspension of an SUV. Moreover, only the rear axle is equipped with NUMA and serves solely to maintain a constant ground clearance, regardless of the vehicle load. Air bellows maintain a constant ground clearance and are fed by a compressor mounted at the rear of the machine. Pneumatic suspension elements usually last up to 200,000 kilometers or more, and at the same time they are not so expensive but all four shock absorbers are connected by a common hydraulic circuit with pumps and two hydraulic accumulators. This solution allows the shock absorbers to simultaneously perform the role of both conventional vibration dampers and body roll stabilization when the liquid in turns under pressure enters the shock absorbers currently located on the inside of the bed. True, the system cannot change the suspension stiffness and ground clearance, but it is distinguished by reliability it is only necessary to periodically monitor the condition of its elements and seals. The rest of the suspension parts are also long-lived, ball joints, front levers and wheel bearings are guaranteed to last up to 150,000 kilometers. This, however, cannot be said about the rear independent suspension arms. A recall campaign was even carried out on this occasion. After 2016, the resource of these parts has become noticeably higher but there are still a lot of complaints about the effectiveness of the braking system. Many owners complain about brake discs that are too small in diameter. They are simply not enough for this heavy and bulky SUV. Therefore, they quickly overheat and when water enters or other sudden cooling, they begin to warp. Moreover, the groove of the discs helps for a short time. After the first sharp cooling, they begin to drive again. It is treated only by their replacement, although this is not a panacea. Craftsmen have learned to install non-native reinforced brake discs with reinforced hoses and more efficient calipers. They say it helps. As you can see, a second-hand Infiniti QX80 won't cause much trouble for the second owner. However, only under certain conditions. Firstly, when buying a complete diagnosis of the car is required. After all, the restoration of even one single main unit of this SUV will pull on the amount for which today you can buy a new domestic small car. Secondly, Avoid copies with twisted mileage and in an invalid technical condition. 
Otherwise, you will prematurely have to invest a lot of money in repairs. Not gradually, as important components and parts wear out, but at a time, after all, the resource of such an 80s has already been practically exhausted.